The next grammar point is the permissive verb dena. The basic meaning of the verb dena is to give, but it also means to allow, to permit, or to let. This function of dena is called permissive. The permissive dena goes with another verb in the oblique form of the infinitive. It takes ne ending of the other verb. For example, karne dena, to let someone do or to allow someone to do. The same way, jane dena, to let somebody go. Sone dena, to let somebody sleep. Bolne dena, to let someone talk. And hone dena is to let somebody or something be. Let's take some example sentences. Mere pitaji mujhko cinema jane dete hain. My father lets me go to movies. Uski patni usko cigarette peene nahi deti. His wife doesn't allow him to smoke cigarettes. Main tumko ye kaam nahi karne dunga. I won't allow you to do this. Mujhe bolne to do. Let me speak. Allow me to speak. Here the verb dena is an imperative, the request form. Jio or jine do. Live and let live. This is the famous phrase. There are some phrases that Hindi speakers use quite frequently. Rehne do or rehne dijiye, let it be, leave it. Another way of saying the same is jane do or jane dijiye, let it go, leave it. There's one more thing to keep in mind that the verb dena is transitive. So in perfective tenses, the subject will take the postposition ne. Chota bacha chai pina chahata tha, par maa ne usko chai pine nahi di. The little boy wanted to drink tea, but the mother did not let him drink tea. So the subject here is mane. The tense here is perfective. So the subject will take the postposition ne. Mane. Sadak ke shor ne usko sone nahi diya. The noise from the road did not let him sleep. Shor, the noise, is the subject in the sentence. So it takes the postposition ne. Shor ne.